Hey friends, welcome to Ness's Nook. So today I am out of salad mix again for lunch. So I had dinner last night that you'll see the video of and um, I had some leftover baked potatoes and I'm like, you know what I'm going to have? I keep talking about it, but I never do it because, you know, I just don't think that far ahead. So today I am going to go ahead and this is going to be part of my um, $5 or five minute collab, which check out the playlist. Um, but I don't know how much this would cost altogether, well under $5, obviously, if, you know, if you had to buy everything outright. But technically, other than the broccoli, because all this is leftovers, is free. <laughs> so I'll bring it down here. What I did is I actually took some of the broccoli and I, and I warmed it up and... You know, if you want to talk about the $5 or the five minutes, technically this could probably be put into either category. Um, I'm thinking more of the $5 because, you know, um, I had to warm up the broccoli a little bit to cook it before I could put it on my potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut up the, the broccoli just a little bit. And I will be using... Some leftover canned cheddar cheese. And then I have my potatoes that was left over from last night. So I'm going to go ahead and get these kind of like mashed down a little bit. Now some people may or may not use butter. I'm not going to use butter. I'm just going to go ahead and use the leftover uh, liquid cheese. I mean obviously if you were doing this and you didn't have liquid cheese and you had the shredded cheese, feel free to change anything out that you do have to make this actually a little bit cheaper for you if you know if you're able to do something like this so I'm gonna go ahead and just squish the potatoes down a little bit I don't mind eating the skins these were all cleaned and I cooked them in my um, instapot yesterday so I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of my cheddar cheese give that a little bit of a stir and I'm going to go ahead and place this on my potatoes. And then I'm just going to be warming this up. I mean, obviously you can warm it up in the microwave if you like to use the microwave. I'm not a fan of the microwave. I mean, I do use it for like uh, melting butter for like 10 seconds. <laughs> Um, but I'm not a fan of the microwave whatsoever. So spread that out. I'm sure that's going to melt a little bit as it gets warm like it always does. And then I'm just going to go ahead and throw the broccoli on here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the June for about five minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper to that. I think that would... Give it a nice little taste. So, I mean, really, I guess if you want to say if, if your broccoli was done, this could definitely be under the five minutes also. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven, and I'll be right back. So, the cheese didn't melt as much as I thought it would, but that still looks very, very good. And um, that will make a very nice lunch for me. And I really like the idea that it's pretty much using things that's in the fridge that otherwise would go super bad. So if you get a chance, definitely, you know, I mean, it's still too hot because I just, I just pulled it out of June. But um, definitely try and make some that yourself. So I'll be happy. I love potatoes. I love the broccoli. You know, I like the cheese, so it's a good lunch. So thank you for very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.